The Bible calls your go-to verse a weapon of warfare to be used in times of great distress. Top of the morning to you. When we consider who we are in Christ with a mind of love and a firm determination to get to know God more fully, we learn throughout the Bible that there will be times when we get hit with distress, trouble, and uncertainty unexpectedly. And then, like a dazed boxer who just got hit with a lucky punch, we try to shake off the effects and get hit in, so that we don't get hit again. Discouragement will even try to send us to set in to deceive us into thinking God allowed this to happen. He doesn't care or that we should know better than to put our trust in such an invisible being. Then, thanks to the Holy Spirit, we remember the truth about God. 2 Corinthians 5, 7, we walk by faith, not by sight. Therefore, verse 6, we rebound from the punch knowing this, that we are always full of good, hopeful, and confident courage. The, like the disciples in 2 Corinthians 4, 16, we choose not to become discouraged. In verse 18, we choose not to look at things that are seen, but to those things that are unseen, because the visible things are temporary, the invisible things are everlasting. 2 Corinthians 5.14, we allow the love of Christ to control, urge, and impel us forward. We remember 2 Corinthians 3.5, our power, ability, and sufficiency comes from God, not ourselves. And also, like the disciples in 2 Corinthians 4, 8, and 9, if we get crushed, then we are not driven to despair, for we are not alone and we are not destroyed. Romans 8, 35-38, for what shall separate us from the love of Christ? Trouble, distress, persecution, or sword? Verse 37, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Verse 38, we are persuaded neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities shall be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. For we know in Psalm 107, 28, when we cry out to the Lord in our trouble, he, br he brings us out of our distresses. This faith allows us to resist in boldness like Paul in 2 Corinthians 12, 10, who said, I take pleasure in distresses for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. And the promise in 2 Corinthians 7, 6, Our God comforts, encourages, and refreshes and cheers the depressed and the sinking. 2 Corinthians 4, 16, Therefore we choose not to lose heart when coming under pressure, because though our outward man is perishing, yet the inward man is being re renewed day by day. Words of encouragement, it's, a, it's good to have these verses of God's word at the ready in times when we get attacked. 2 Corinthians 10, 4, For the weapons we fight with, God's word, pull down strong arguments against God for those of us who believe. Unfortunately, unbelievers don't have this luxury, for the God of this world, Satan, blinds their minds, preventing them from seeing the light of the gospel. Have a great day.